Hey guys, welcome back to another quick form video. So this is a quick unboxing and kind of slash install video of the portable full touch car stereo wireless. Uh, of course, this works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's the main reason I got it. And it also has the Magic sticky mount, which is kind of like that. So this is what I'm using. This is a 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. So as you can see, I do have the older stereo. And I do use iPhone. Sorry, I literally just came back from mudding in this thing. So it's a little dirty. But I'm super excited. I got this um, touchscreen, Bluetooth, FM transmitter, airplane, and auto link. So not too bad. I think this was at like 160-ish. Um, maybe I got a discount on it. Um, but it does have IPS display, USB media, voice control, online maps, and dual USB um, ports. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is... Uh, as you can see, there it is, the model and everything. So let's go ahead and open it up. Like I said, I don't have Apple CarPlay. I could replace the the stereo, but nah. Let's go ahead and do something like this. Super easy. I don't know why this thing seems in so much. There we go. Ooh, so there it is. There's the screen. Looks like it's this way. Okay, nice big thick screen. You get a little manual. So a little manual in here. And of course you do get all the connectors that you will need. So this one is for the power plus it has two USB connectors. So this is gonna be the power cord and you will use that 12 volt power. And then of course you need the aux cable which is nice that it came with. Then it does have the magic mount right here. So very nice. It does have, uh, I love this magic mount suction cup. You can reuse it and it does have suction and it does extend. So pretty cool. You can also move it up and down, which is nice. Um, so pretty, pretty nice. I believe, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. There you go. Losing that and it extends. So as you can see, it extends pretty cool. And it does rotate left, right, up and down. So pretty cool. Now let's see what else it comes with. This is, oh, so it's pretty nice. This is the sunscreen that it comes with. So just in case you don't want the sun hitting you. I'm not too sure what that is. And then this right here is, so let's say if you don't have a flat surface, like mine surface is pretty flat on the FJ. Um, you can use this to suction on that and just help. So let me go ahead and set up and show you how easy it is. I'm just going to replace that with this and uh, I'll show you how it's done. All right, another thing I want to show you is the actual screen itself. So it does have a mic right there for uh, making calls. It does have the volume down, maybe the menu button and volume up. Okay, on the side it does have the audio, the AVEN, USB, uh, SIM card, and of course the charger, charging port. And then uh, in the back it does have two speakers, and then this is where you can mount it on there. So it's going to mount on here. So, pretty cool. Just thought I would make that video and show you real quick. All right, guys. So, I have it set up the way I want it. Super simple. Just put the shield on here. Now, as you can see, it does move. So, I'm a little worried how strong that mount is. But the one that I had for my phone was super strong. It was actually pretty hard to remove. So, shout outs to that. I think I got that one at like TJ Maxx or something. But this one came from Amazon. I'll have the link in the description below. But as you can see, you just put the aux cable, there's the power cable, and just connects to the aux. Um, I have the way you can adjust it up and down, uh, so it's pretty nice. I want it a little low, that way I can see still the road. So let's go ahead and plug her in. Of course, like I said, just have to plug it in. Let's see if it'll fit in here. Uh-oh. That might be an issue. Okay really snug um pretty pretty tight actually so but it's okay like i said i'll do some cable management in a little bit i just want to see how this thing works hopefully it does work which it should it has really good reviews and then we'll hook it up to the iphone so let's go ahead and see Ooh. so there we go let's turn it on All right, so there you go. So you can see it says it's starting, so pretty nice. So first boot up, this first time ever. I haven't, uh, ooh. So check this out. It has, it looks like the time. I guess we're going to have to change the time. Um, 
it is touchscreen. So it says Bluetooth, USB, SD card. Uh, no service. You can put the volume up. All right, let's see. Let's bump it all the way up. All right, so let's go ahead and do the Apple CarPlay. So that's what I wanted for. It says, welcome to CarPlay. It says, for wire connections, da, 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 using CarPlay on this device, please connect your iPhone to the device via a high-quality data cable. So you can connect it via the USB right here. Um, or I believe you can do the wireless. So it says, for wireless, please select in the setup phone link setting smartphone wireless device. Uh, says before using and turn on the iPhone wireless locate your network please use the iPhone to search for the device Bluetooth which names Gemini okay so I guess we just have to look for it via Bluetooth oh, and there it is so check it out there's Bluetooth right there Gemini so connect to it yes do something here um, da -da -da, after connecting, oh, look at that, holy moly joly. So there it is, guys, wireless Apple CarPlay. It works super easy. It's just via Bluetooth. It does show you the signal bars, um, so it's pretty nice. Um, I'm excited um, to go ahead and try this out, but super simple. Same thing, I believe, with Android Auto. It is wireless Android Auto as well. Um, or like I said, if you guys have an issue connecting, which a lot of cars do wireless, you can just connect your iPhone charger via the USB right there and, uh, use that way. But I want the wireless and, uh, yeah, so pretty cool guys. Let's see if everything works, which it should. So in here, we just have to go to aux. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> So, like I said, I don't want to get copyrighted or anything. But, yeah, it does work 100%, guys. So, let's say it just needs a little bit of cable management, which I will take care of that um, later. But you can go the home and, like I said, do everything. But me personally, I'm just going to use the Apple CarPlay. So, 100% um, would suggest this so far. Like I said, if you don't want to change your radio, you can still keep your stock radio. Like I said, I'll just have to see how well that... Um, that mount holds if not i'll have to find something a bit more permanent or maybe connect it to the the window but overall pretty good i'm, I'm excited for you guys so yep yeah, please come rate subscribe if you want to buy one of these which are super cheap and like i said it has a little um sun shield not too bad super easy you don't have to worry about it anymore so thank you guys